Hi, my name is Alok Shivastava from Network Nuts, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how beautiful this Harley Davidson is. Really? <laughs> Though there is no doubt that the bike is very beautiful, but the video is not about the bike. The video is something very interesting. We'll be talking a bit about Open Adidas Proxy. So first, understand what is a Open Adidas Proxy and why will anybody be needing a open a proxy so I have got this paint here with me here it is so uh, let's create a scenario here suppose okay let me first write what exactly I'm going to do here so I'm going to tell you about elder proxy elder proxy right that's great so uh, let's take a picture like suppose we have a proxy here or an LDAP server here so this is my LDAP server so this is my LDAP server here LDAP server let me that makes it much more beautiful right so we have an LDAP server here and obviously when I'm saying LDAP server so it must be having its own database and the DIT tree and uh, and things like that so it's running its own database along with the DIT tree so it contains my employee records and other stuff and things like that obviously when it is an LDAP server it is supposed to contain all these things and then I've got certain clients some client machines so let me draw some client machines for you. So here I have got some clients. So if you got great number of clients, so let me copy these number of clients. So you have got some very good number of clients here, adapt clients. I think I'm very good in drawing. I've acquired this new skill. Wow. <laughs> don't take me seriously okay so we have got these elder clients so by default what happened in all the elder clients they are supposed to look at the LDAP server for the queries for modification for uh, for all other things as because it is the LDAP server so LDAP servers are generally read often so they will be doing the queries for and their search locations will obviously be I don't like this color uh, let me take it a dark green color so and their okay blue color so whenever these elder clients will do the query their queries will obviously be going to the LDAP server that's great no no problem my LDAP server is capable enough of handling all these queries but there are certain issues that in this case all the clients will be knowing the actual location the fully qualified domain name as well as the IP address of my LDAP server I don't want that I want to introduce the LDAP proxy here so means the clients are not supposed to directly communicate with the LDAP server they should give their queries to the proxy and then the proxy will be on behalf of the client will be taking the request to the LDAP server and will give the queries back right so I don't want that okay so this scenario is still with me let me share that I've got this green machine this black machine and this blue machine so this green machine is configured as my LDAP server so this is already configured let me just start the let me show you so slap D is running here and LDAP search is working perfectly that's great so I've got a couple of users created here like Alok Raja other users right but the clients are supposed to work from a different machine so I have got another machine here this is the machine with the blue background right so the open LDAP client package is installed here let me show it that's great so I can do a search here LDAP search hyphen X HSP client host where to look for the queries and base which domain to search for so base is my dc is equal to example comma dc equal to com which is the domain that I had created on the server 
that's perfect so the client which is on the blue machine is able to communicate so you can see here same user accounts are appearing here so the picture up till here is that, that the client which is on the blue machine is capable of communicating with the server which is on the green machine right that's great so this is the same scenario that the clients are directly communicating with the LDAP server I don't want this what I want I want to introduce a proxy server in between the client and the server so I don't want this so I'm just I don't like this so what I want is another server here so let me choose orange color uh oh sorry yeah much better there it is so this machine is supposed to act as my LDAP proxy ah uh, yes looking great so I'm going to configure uh, this orange machine as the LDAP proxy and now from now onwards I will be sharing the IP address or the fully qualified domain name of my LDAP proxy to my clients means clients are supposed to contact the LDAP proxy but as it is a proxy it is not supposed to contain any database or any DID tree so I can write it here for you it, it, it's a very important point so being a LDAP proxy there will be no database and no DID tree so I can write here no database no DID nothing it is merely a proxy it doesn't contain any uh, records or anything so they they will merely be communicating with, with the uh, LDAP server so what happens now whenever the clients will send the query to the LDAP proxy because I, I will be sharing the IP address or the fully qualified domain name of the proxy now to the clients not of the LDAP server which I was doing earlier so uh, the proxy will be configured in such a manner the proxy will be configured that it will take the request of the client which the clients are giving it and then redirect the request to the LDAP server means clients will be communicating the clients will be communicating with the proxy and then the proxy on behalf of the clients will go to the LDAP server and will fetch the rec uh, records right it is how the things works so now I want to introduce this I want to introduce one more machine the orange machine should be configured as the proxy and then this machine should be configured to send the request of the client to the LDAP server and whatever I can just uh, make it much better so it will be sending the request to the server and whatever the server will say it will take it back and then will give it to the clients that is what how the things will work right so the client will never know that they are com communicating with the actual LDAP server that has the that has got the database or they are communicating with some proxy server so let us introduce this orange machine here so for so for this I have got this black machine configured here just a moment please okay so here it is my machine to be configured as the proxy that's great so the host name is proxy.example.com I need to make sure that the package should be installed here so open LDAP servers you need to install the packages so I will install open LDAP open LDAP servers open LDAP clients though you don't need open LDAP clients here so the packages are getting installed that's great so you make sure you are able to communicate with your yum server which I am and you need to make sure one more thing before you proceed further that your IP table either should be flushed or you should allow the LDAP port that is 389 right so the packages are configured here open 
LDAP servers. That's great. So those who had already configured the LDAP server, they know now the, the second step is you need to copy the sample file to the etc open LDAP. slapd.conf right so if i go to etc open ldap you will have this file slapd.conf can you see it second from the bottom but the ownership is root so i need to change the ownership to ldap so that the service should be able to access it very simple rules that's great now because this machine is supposed to be a proxy it is he is not supposed to contain any database this machine is not supposed to contain any DIT tree so you need to modify this file open the file and go to the database section this is your database section I am not supposed to contain any BDB or HDB database here so either you can remove those lines or comment it I'm commenting everything I don't because it is not supposed to contain any database any indexes because there is no database there is no need of indexes just make sure you comment everything out now you need to tell this machine that my dear machine you are not a slave you are not a LDAP slave you are not a LDAP master you are a proxy so you should be knowing the location of the LDAP server the nearest LDAP server to whom you should be redirecting the queries so make sure that these schemas are allowed there that's great the module path anywhere here in the global section so I'm just are putting under module path activate the module path and then load the module module load your back LDAP so you will be using a LDAP backend not a BDB or HDB backend and then below this you can write my database is LDAP obviously I'm not going to use any BDB or HDB as I'm not storing any database with me then the location of your server to whom you should be referring the queries of the client that's right so pclient.example.com before you proceed further just make sure that you should be able to communicate with the pclient machine so either the dns should be working properly or you should have a proper entry in the host file so let me open the file again that's great if you have more than one ldap servers in case you can write another ldap server with a space separated like this say another ldap.example.com things like that so because I don't have this server I'm not going to add this but a space separated list can be given okay and which suffix which domain to search so obviously my domain in this case is dc is equal to example comma dc equal to com so these are the three lines and loading the module is what is required on the proxy end just save and come out okay because you have changed the entries in the slapd.conf, you need to regenerate the database files, the online configuration file. So what you need to do for that, you need to go inside etc, open ldap, slapd.d and remove the previous online configurations and regenerate the new using the slap test command. Slap test, take the configurations from open ldap, slapd.conf and Create the files under etc open ldap slab d dot d. It's, it tells me config file testing succeeded. That's great. So now you will see here, though I removed the files, you can see rm hyphen rf asterisk. Now the files will be created. You can see the current timestamp also. Now just need to do one thing change the ownership of this folder. So the better is you do a etc open ldap slab d dot d. That's great. Now try running the service my job is done wow that's great so my proxy is configured that is all yes that is all is required to configure a LDAP proxy that means that means if my client will communicate with the proxy proxy is not containing any database anything if my client will communicate with the proxy proxy should be redirecting the queries to the LDAP server so let me go back to the picture 
here it is so now this orange machine is configured but it doesn't have any DIT tree or anything so whenever any client will send the query to the proxy proxy is configured to send the query to the database server right here right so proxy is configured so the client will be communicating with the proxy but the proxy is configured to send the query to the LDAP server the actual LDAP server that contains your database and then take the answer and give back to the client right like this it is how the things will work so let us check it out so if I go to my client let us check so earlier if you see the client was directly communicating with the pclient.example.com which was my actual LDAP server and he was successfully able to communicate no problem no problem but now if I replace it with proxy now I, I will not tell the actual fully qualified domain name of my LDAP server to my clients clients can be real notorious so I'm I will not tell them that boss your LDAP client is proxy.example.com sorry your LDAP server is proxy.example.com so they will do the query to the proxy.example.com and the proxy.example.com is further configured to send the request to the pclient.example.com which is my LDAP server wow great see even the proxy is so this process is transparent to the client so even the proxy is responding to to the client queries whereas though we know that there is no database on at the proxy but what is happening client is communicating with the with the proxy and then the proxy on behalf of the client is going to the like this now so the client is communicating with the proxy and because the proxy is configured with the uri of this machine of ldap server so this proxy is taking the request to the ldap server getting the query done and then reverting back to to the client this is how the LDAP proxy works so it also hide help me hiding the true identity of my LDAP server so you just learned how to configure a LDAP proxy obviously the pre-requirement is that you should be knowing how to configure an open LDAP server so that is what I intend to show you so I hope you like the video and thank you very much see you again soon Bye, take care, God bless.